everybody, McGregor here, and welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Ship. And it's actually been quite a while since I've last played, so forgive me if I make mistakes or I forget stuff. <laughs> but anyways, I do believe we gotta go up here now. And let's go up here. Supplies. Uh, yeah, we don't need to stop. Oh, there's a port. Take a look at the tavern. Ooh. There's a good amount of stuff here. Um, oh, the flamethrower. Okay, hull cracker. That's a good one. Oh, the sniper rifle! I want it. That that's the ultimate combo is the acid uh, acid bomb and the sniper rifle. I wanted that so badly. <laughs> uh, I might get this. Oh, I think we're next. We're gonna upgrade our sails just so that it's harder for ships to because we, we are a far range uh, ship uh, there we go I still alive. Nobody's helping him. Bye. There you go. Oh, like you missed her there, but she's dead now. Oh, this is going to suck for him. He's now lying down in acid. There you go. See how strong that is? Actually, let me go back to the ship. Over here. 
Anything over there? A lot of islands, actually. There. Uh... Oh no! Received hull damage! It's kind of worth it. Drowning man! Warm today seems to be better enough. Oh, there he is. Oh, he passes away quietly. You will remember his name. His name was Robert, son of Paul. Who's this? Uh, uh oh. It's not the map I want. Okay. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, it tells you what the area is like. Maybe one more for that. I can always go with for more booty. So I need one more. I want to see what happens. Those guys. No, oh man. That guy's gonna explode. There we go. Whew. Give me. Oh, we got the six. Okay. So let's come over here. Let's repair all. There we go. Upgrade. Oh, I want that. Get the basic one. Oh, wait. I can do the sails. There we go. Now we got two sails. And as for the map, yes, 
Can stay farther away. Fire! Man overboard! What? We have a man overboard? Oh, we do. That, that thing is knocking people off. In. This is just so I can see his health. Kill the captain. His dead bodies on fire. What kind of cannon do they have? Lobber. What's this? Okay, wait. Can I? Designed to target and stun and knocks integral crew to the floor, but doesn't cause any damage. Has a chance of knocking crew overboard. Oh, well, that could be very useful. I wish I could take their guns off of their ship and put them on my own. Let's see, just exploring because we can. Because there's nothing here, so you might as well take a quick look around. Why don't we just live on the land? I mean, we should be. <laughs> 
okay to do that, I guess. Well, I guess they did attack us on land, but... Uh, yeah, high, high secondary for no hull damage. It's not bad. That could be actually quite useful. And that is maneuverability. Okay. Nothing there. I wonder if the speed also, the more mass also increase speed on uh, over here. Ah. Uh, oh. Again, Way and go this way, follow me. Okay, come down here. You, you're gonna come over here. You are gonna come down here. Everybody else, I want to fight too, including you. You could fight. There you go. And please get out of the acid. There. list <laughs> oh, I need 10 What you gotta do. Let's move in. See this over here. Dead. Oh, that sucks for you. <laughs> Run into the acid. Let us move in closer. Don't know why you're repairing that. But whatever floats your boat. Guns did you have? That looks like sure shot, yeah. And regular cannons? Yeah. Uh 
increased. I could have taken them. An attack from the other side. <clears throat> okay, doesn't really matter. Attack. I like attacking the healing area. Because, well, they had to fix it. You failed, Doctor. Dead. Now she's dead. If I had one uh, cannon to take out the sections, that'd actually be pretty good. If I do, uh, we are no pirates, so I know. So we want the one with the tent. Something is coming! Seriously, this thing looks amazing. My maneuverability would help with this. Go. Well, this seems to be going pretty fast now. What is your. Okay, you're pretty up there. Beep, beep, vroom! <laughs> Damn straight, we, we uh, wounded it.
this why not let them rest a bit ah I'm gonna hurt you speed I said with <laughs> I don't want to get rid of my acid combo thing because this thing is it's a strong combo I mean it might just be a little bit too strong Ben We attack. Some good money there. the same guy uh oh okay I want to there I want to go here I'm not gonna repair just because I want to see what we can get we can get the lobber we can get the section damager That would help us take out um, the the med bay. We could do the advanced crow's nest, which I think you know what we're gonna do that one. No wait, sell you and get you. There we go. And you know what? I can probably repair everything right now. I can. There, so we should have a much farther range. Looks like it. This is going to help us clear out areas faster. See if there is anything more. Doesn't look like it. To go away. Bye bye. Fish. Bill's rock. Get that. It's money. Explore the town. The port town is ramshackle and sparse. Many houses lying empty. You find a sorry looking trading shack and the proprietor mutters directions to someone who apparently is capable of helping. As you approach your supposed destination, a pair of filthy street urchins lob a chunk of dull stones into a puddle next to you. The water stems 
steams from uh, split seconds before exploding, soaking your breeches. Breech Children flee shrieking with laughter, and you can't help but be impressed by their small demonstration. You arrive at a hut that stands apart from the others with strange symbols painted over the door. This is the place. The door is yanked open by an older man with a beard oiled into multiple points at inconsistent angles. So there, he's like spiky haired, but in the beard. <laughs> his face is a mess, mess of many um, small scars and one of his eyes is glass painted with a crude iris. I'm, I'm imagining it's like a little happy face or something. You've soon... Wait, you've... You've seen some salty sea dogs in your time, but this guy takes the biscuits. He clearly isn't uh, one uh, for formality, so you come right out with it. You're in the business of hunting exotic sea fauna and need a tactical edge. You attempt to flatter him by explaining that Devil's Rock's recent infamy and his reputation led you here. He sets off an account of his glory day spent fishing and exploring using Devil Rock. They would seal nuggets of the rock, dark rock, in oiled spherical containers packed with sand. Then it was just a matter of finding a shoal and dropping it overboard, where, once deep enough, the pressure would force water in and set off the reaction. He mimes a huge vertical torrent of water. We considered it good luck, he winks, if a fish chunk landed <laughs> on your head. You make a quick calculation about how much of a rock would need be needed to surface something as big as a crack and quickly resolve it would take out half of the ship of your ship at the same time. Hardly ideal. You experiment with launch methods like firing it from water. The man looks blankly at you for a second before a large smile creases up his gnarled features. I like your style, he proclaims, but no, we never needed to. He roams around in his pockets, produces a small pebble. He places it on a platter atop a large chest, grabs a nearby candle, passes the flame slowly back and forth over the stone. Seemingly, you flinch, make to cover your eyes, but he just grins. Friction or heat do nothing, only water. We'll need to do some tests, but thank you. So now, if I could, age if I go there and obtain some explosive metal. Man's eye has lit up. Ooh, he is desperate to be part of this experiment and volunteer some supplies. From the good old days, he only requests if he can accompany you for the test. You agree, but we'll have have a lot of explaining to the crew to the crew to do before they're happy with bringing a soluble high explosive on board. Well, you need to test that okay, well, safely. Okay. Uh, man the motor when it's ready to fire. Aim. It's ready to fire. Why isn't it shooting? There we go. Oh. Your guest dances a little jig. Static, it says this just might work. Well, probably just a visual bug. En route, your guest sidles up to you. The amount of double rock you plan to fire, you're not just after a few hulls or a trophy, are you? You hesitate, but figure the knowledge won't hurt him if he even believes you. No, we hunt a kraken, and it hunts us. After a Pregnant pause, he replies, I've lived through many seasons, most of them spent at sea. I've seen things men would mock me to hear tell. Another lengthy pause, I believe you. And were I a few scores seasons younger, I'd join you to see for myself. If you adjust the wheel, your sleeve, right, your sleeve rides up, revealing the edge of 
your cult tattoos. He does a good job pretending not to notice and you sail the rest of the way into port in silence. You mull over your next steps. You need a place you need a place to make a stand, as it were. Back in port, you make preparations for your departure. Balan is ebullient and helpful, carefully measuring and packing out enough double rock to take care of a dozen kraken. Show you he shows you a sphere wrapped in a extra layer of oily bandage. This will help keep it safe in bad weather, but should it slip off easily underwater, be no fun if the damn things went off in your hands or would or hold would it he cackles. You have a little time left until your crew have ready themselves. How do you spend it? Let's do that. We will get poor expectantly your plane to do, do, do. Oh wow. Okay, so Sage is completely leveled up. Oh cracker here. I can't do anything here. That's a good old water pumps. Automatic water pump. That'd be pretty good. Finally, ready to depart. Balan is about to disembark as you stop to find. We need somewhere to corner the Kraken if we want these things to hit. Head to Pullman's Cove, Balan replies, tapping his grizzled nose with. Here, I'll mark it on your chart. It's a horseshoe bay with some deadly undercurrents. Many a whale and ship have run afoul of that little place. If you don't panic, you can ride a swell back out. But it, at the right tide, not even a kraken could would be able to escape. Not so only as, as you do. So I know this has something to do with the damned cult. You're clearly connected somehow, but I hardly think you're on the same side. That your business. All I know is their trouble, and they weird. <laughs> strike them and their little pet a blow. Make damn sure you come back and tell me how it went. 